Hello, I'm Mr Barron, I teach in Year 5 and I'd like to show you some of the methods that we would introduce the children to in Key Stage 2. The first method is called partitioning. This is where we break the numbers up into their parts, as I will show you now. I'll take 89, subtract 24. And I will be thinking to myself, what do these numbers break down into? Well, I'm going to break them into their tens and units. So 89 becomes 80 and 9, and then 24 becomes 20 and 4. That then becomes easier for me to do the subtraction. Put my line there, 9 take away 4, 5, and 80 take away 20 is 60. I then add the two together, put them back together again, which gives me my answer of 65. The second method I'm going to show you expands partitioning and involves something called decomposition. Some of the older parents and friends might remember it as being borrowing. Well, it works something like this. If I have 242 take away 174, and I break those down, I partition them into 242 and then 170 and four, I then need to borrow or decompose some of these numbers to help me out. So the 40 here, I will say, I will take 10 from there to make that 30. Take the 10 and add that to my units column, so that becomes 12. So the number is still 230 and 12 to make 242, but I've just moved the numbers around. I've borrowed in effect. So then I can do 12 minus four, is 8, 30 minus 70, ah, I need to decompose again. So I'll take my 200 and I will cross that out and I will say that is 100 and I'm going to make 30 become 130. 130 now, take away 70, that gives me 60. Over to my hundreds, 100 minus 100 is nothing, so I don't need to put anything down there. So 60 add 8, becomes 68. And then the final method is the decomposition without so many notes. Short form, if you like. So 342 take away 156. Two take away six, I don't have enough. So I'm going to borrow from the tens column leaving the 3 there and carrying the 10 over to the units. So 12 take away 6 leaves me with 6. 3 take away 5 for the tens column now. Again, not enough tens, so I need to borrow 10 tens from the hundreds column, which gives me 13. 13 take away 5 leaves me with 8, and 2 take away 1 gives me 1. So that's called decomposition. And as you can see, it's a short form, and that is really the only way we can have children doing that is when they appreciate and understand exactly what they're doing, the number system, how it all works. By year six, of course, we're also expecting the children to be able to choose the method that they want, be it number line, be it partitioning, be it decomposition. It's their choice, it works for them, that's great. Thank you.